Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Adam Weekly. Today's question comes in from Coral. And Coral's question is, what is the best way to lean down without sacrificing muscle and fullness? I don't have a lot of muscle yet and I need to get leaner. So what would be the best strategy to do this while protecting my muscle and keeping my fullness? So this is actually a really, really common question. And I like that she's asking this question because it can be, help a lot of you out there. And if you guys want to ask a question, please feel free to text me. I will answer most of these questions either with text back or a video like this. So this is a cool question because she's not currently getting ready for a show and she's trying to keep her body fat low while getting ready for a show, but she still wants to gain. She doesn't want to lose any of these precious weeks gaining by dieting for too long. And if she diets for too long, she risks losing some muscle and some fullness while she's dieting down. So there's a couple questions in here that I'm going to go into. The first one is, what do I think is the best method of staying lean while gaining, right? So without a doubt, gaining by itself, if you go into a full gaining program and you're in a slight, very slight, be it caloric surplus, that's going to be the best way to gain lean mass. I don't think there's an argument there that if you're in a caloric deficit, yes, it's going to be harder for you to build as much muscle. Can you build muscle in a caloric deficit? Absolutely, you can. So first off, I would say keep your lean gaining, lean gaining. You know, don't bulk. Never, ever bulk. There's never been an ounce of muscle more gained because a pound of fat was gained. Okay, so it's, it's those two don't correlate. You're not going to gain an ounce more of muscle because you gain an ounce more of fat. Okay, but you do want to be at that calorie point where you can give your body the optimal chance of building as much lean mass as possible. So what does that mean? Well, Close to maintenance calories, a little bit above maintenance calories where you're not gaining that much body fat and you're getting a good return on your muscle growing. So what I mean by good return is this. I try to have clients like measure their waistlines and measure their hips and measure key areas of where body fat might start accumulating. And I never want to add a full week of dieting when I'm doing a full week of gaining. And what does that mean? Well, if I'm gaining equal fat as I am equal muscle, well, then every time I gain some muscle, then I'm adding another week of dieting. So every week of gaining should never equal another week of dieting because in that scenario, you're going to be dieting for six months out of the year, gaining for six months out of the year. I'd like to shift that as if I could and do nine months of gaining out of the year and three months of cutting throughout the year. And I do that by staying lean. So what I try to do is add one week of dieting for every four weeks of gaining. So that means that I'm very minimally gaining any body fat in the off season. So it's four weeks of, of gaining one week of dieting that I'm adding to it. And I'm doing math. I'm checking my measurements. If my waistline, if I can lose a quarter of an inch on my waistline every week when I'm dieting, well, then I know that one week of dieting equals a quarter, a quarter of an inch gaining, right? So if my waist goes up a quarter of an inch every single week while I'm gaining, well, then I just added four more weeks of dieting for every month, if that, if hopefully that makes sense. So what I'm trying to do is maybe gain a quarter of an inch, maybe a half an inch on the waistline a month, and that's going to be one to two weeks of dieting per month of gaining. And that's a good rule of thumb, so keep track of your measurements. Don't just bulk and be silly and say, oh, I'm gaining and justify eating bad because you want to eat bad and, <laughs> and you're saying it's bulking. And then the other way of doing it, let's say you've been going, gaining for a while, and you want to make sure you're maintaining your body fat and keeping your body fat low. The great thing about dieting hard for short periods of times, and this has been studied, is that in the initial phases of leaning out, you're going to lose very little muscle in those first couple weeks. Your body is not anywhere nearly fast. Your body's not anywhere near fast enough at adapting to these really low calories for very short periods of time, and your body kind of doesn't even really recognize it. They've tested it with indirect calorimeters where they've tested people and the body does not adapt at that fast of a rate. So if you're gaining really hard and you're starting to feel a little fluffy, why not throw in one hard week of dieting every six weeks, every eight weeks, wherever it makes sense. And when I say hard dieting, I'm saying pretty freaking hard dieting. So, you know, you're gaining for six weeks. You Maybe you gained a half an inch on your waistline and you're like, I don't want to gain any body fat. Well, then throw a hard week in there. Go crazy with cardio for a week. You know, do 45 minutes of cardio, Get your calories a little bit low, get uncomfortable, lean out that week, focus on it for that week, and then the next week, go right back to gaining again. So those are kind of my tips of staying full and staying lean while gaining. That's how I typically approach things. Hopefully, it helps you guys out. Again, shoot me a text if you want some of these questions answered, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for listening.